All right. Thanks a lot for meeting me tonight, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks for coming. No problem. I just can't believe it. I'm a bona fide, verified, officially licensed physical education teacher. You did it. But I mean, I'm freaking out. I, I don't know if I can teach a class on my own. Oh, it's perfectly normal to be a little bit nervous about that. I felt the same way after I got my license. Same here. Listen, can I ask you two a couple questions about teaching? Shoot. Yeah, we'll give it to you straight. Okay, because when I was student teaching, the students were so disrespectful. I mean, I almost lost my cool a couple times. And do either of you deal with that in your classrooms? I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, Eric. Once you start teaching in your own gym, the disrespect stops. Really? Yep. It stopped completely? Uh-huh. Kids never complain about petty things again. No more tattling and arguing during activities. No more refusing to sit crisscross applesauce. Say goodbye to kids showing up to class in snow boots. And I know some kids took some shots at your name, but that's not gonna happen. I mean, it makes no sense. What's so wrong with the name Toe Licker anyway? <laughs> it's water under the bridge. You're not gonna see that happen. Mm -hmm. It's all true. It's been years since I've been called a Sasquatch. I don't get it. When's the sudden change of attitude? I don't know, it's, it's just magic. Yeah, it's like a fairy tale, Eric. Being a PE teacher is this incredible state of mind. Maybe it's the fact that you'll be working the same job until the day you die that just, just frees you up. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. I mean, what else happened? Well, you maintain your youthful good looks. <laughs> you guys look like you both age. Hey, that's because we grew beards, jerk. <laughs> I mean, when you're a PE teacher, you want to look intimidating and taken seriously. When students know you're, you're not messing around, they'll never make fun of your receding hairline. <laughs> or call the bald spot on the back of your head a donut hole. <laughs> <laughs> what if I can't grow a beard? No problem. You'll be fine. I'm telling you, the students, especially in middle school, are just sweethearts when it's your teaching space. <laughs> I told them I took my wife's last name. They showed incredible maturity and understanding. <laughs> I mean, my last name's pretty tough to take a jab at, but... They know when you're in Mr. Butte Rash's class. I'm all <laughs> They'll also never refuse to take a break or tell the entire school your full smell of urine. When your shirt was clean at the beginning of your commute, then as you take your daughter into daycare, she pees all over you. <laughs> well, this is really encouraging, guys. Are your coworkers the same way? Even better. I haven't been disrespected once by a coworker. <laughs> they never gossip. They always ask to borrow equipment. They return it early several hours before I need it for my next class. <laughs> I once had a classroom teacher borrow 30 bean bags and four scooters, and the teacher returned every piece of equipment exactly where he found them. <laughs> and they'll always be careful about calling you the correct job title. The amount of respect is scary. My coworkers sometimes refer to me as an applied kinesiology monarch. <laughs> PE teacher is just fine. <laughs> An old school mentality of undermining our profession, that's in the past. People call our gym class physical education. And paraprofessionals are never on their phone when they're in your class. <laughs> it's almost like they're noble squire attendants with their head on a swivel at all times. <laughs> Don't forget the parents. If a belligerent dodgeball game gets out of hand, the parents will always be on your side, especially when they're child comes home crying after suffering a preventable head collision. <laughs> the parents know that their kids are developing fine motor skills and you'll never be reported to admin. Great. You know, I'm just really looking forward to making some money and, and getting a house by the end of the year. And the lucrative profession of physical education will help you purchase your dream house. <laughs> you'll be able to support your entire family. Your wife could just stay at home. You really start to notice the bang for your buck with those staff development days. Seven hour meetings that change your life. <laughs> They're not all the snooze or Greek philosophy classes we took in college. Every bullet point discussed pertains to physical education. <laughs> well, thanks so much, guys. I mean, I feel a lot better now. Good. Yeah, you do great. Absolutely. Well, I'm excited for you. Great. Well, I'm going to head to the bathroom. This coffee's going right through me. Yeah. Good to see you, buddy. 
Should we tell him the truth? Nobody told me. Screw him. <laughs> <laughs>